We may see Lachlan McLean play just slightly behind Marios Lomas, I would think, as the target man. As we're underway from Historic City Stadium, Grimville Triumph going from right to left in all white. Eight to ten yards out and make Akira Fitzgerald make a decision. Here comes the ball in from, oh, that's far too, it isn't far too high. I was going to say, it looked like it was too deep. Fitzgerald was half caught about whether to come for it. And Max Hemmings almost put it in the back of the net. It was floated up there. It almost looked like it was too high and too deep for anything to happen, but unmarked at the far post was Max Hemmings. That's an amazing save from Akira Fitzgerald. You can see Max, head, Max Hemmings put his head to his hand, looking for room for the cross, and he may get it here if he's not fouled. Good footwork by Don Smart, but he can't get Pi Juan Pablo Monticelli. But Richmond kickers again failed to clear on just wide. Snapshot. Just a poor clearance. That was Cesar Marie. Here's the corner from Smart. Lomas is there in a bit of space. The header is good, but right at Eric Kira Fitzgerald, who's not the tallest keeper in the world, but didn't have to jump too high. But then cleared away by Richmond, but only half cleared. But here come kickers now. Had a lot of fouls in these last few minutes. And that's going to be a yellow card for Cesar Maria. And a red card was issued. Richmond were trying to make the break. Mario came in and, oh, may have made contact with the head of Jonathan Bolaños. As we send our thoughts out to his fellow countrymen and women in the St. Vincent and the Grenadines had a volcano erupt there recently, but his McLean now with some space on the right side. The box crosses a dangerous one, and it's into the back of the net. Luke Pavone. There was no real danger. He had a teammate with him, and Don Smart 10 yards behind him, and he put it in the back of his own net. Well, Merry Christmas, Greenville Triumph. They're up 1 0 and down a man. Long ball by Dallas J. It's flicked on nicely wide by Booth. Mohammed picked it up. McLe McLean made a nice little run towards the corner of the box, but it was no real danger. He was under no pressure at all, Luke Pavone, and he just put it in the back of his own neck. Back of his own net. You can see what he was trying to do, but he was slipping on the turf. And the kickers pull something out at the depth. At the death, excuse me. This one's lofted in. Anderson with a chance! Oh, what a chance for Alex Anderson. John Gregg's whistle not blowing yet, though. We're a minute and a half. And there it is now. Down to 10 men. The Greenville Triumph spent all of last season in first place. And they'll be up there in a tie for first place after this one.